one, the perfect poop. The perfect poop is smooth, sausage shaped, and comes out easily. No pushing, no pain. It means your gut is happy, digestion is steady, your good bacteria are balanced, and you're eating enough fiber and drinking enough water. This kind of poop usually forms when food takes about one to two days to move through your system, giving your body time to absorb all the good stuff. A calm mind also helps. A relaxed brain keeps your gut running smoothly. To keep things this way, eat a mix of fiber, drink plenty of water, move your body, and manage stress with good sleep and calming habits. Second pebble poop. Pebble poop looks like tiny hard lumps, kind of like rabbit droppings. This means your poop sat in your colon for too long and your body soaked up too much water, leaving it dry and hard to push out. It's a classic sign of constipation. Common causes, not enough fiber, not drinking enough water, sitting too much or ignoring the urge to go. Stress and anxiety can also tense up your gut and slow everything down. To fix it, drink more water, eat fiber-rich foods like fruits and veggies, move around daily, and try relaxing your mind with deep breathing or a calming routine. 3. Lumpy Sausage Lumpy sausage poop looks like a sausage, but bumpy and dry on the outside. It's another sign that things are moving too slowly through your gut. The longer poop stays inside, the more water gets pulled out, making it harder and thicker. 4. Cracked sausage. Cracked sausage poop looks mostly normal, sausage-shaped with some dry cracks on the surface. It's a good sign overall, but your body might be a little low on water or fiber. This happens when stool sits a bit too long in the colon and starts to dry out. It can be caused by mild dehydration, eating at odd hours, or even a little stress. 5. Soft sausage. Soft sausage poop looks like soft blobs with clear edges and comes out easily, maybe a bit too easily. It's still in the normal range but leans toward loose. This can happen after a big meal or when your gut is moving things along a little too fast, often from high fiber intake, stress, or a sensitive reaction to certain foods. If it's happening often, try cutting back on extra fiber, add more soluble fiber like oats or bananas, and watch how your gut reacts to what you eat. 6. Mushy poop. Mushy poop is soft, shapeless, and kind of messy, almost like diarrhea. It usually means things are rushing through your system too quickly, so your colon doesn't have time to absorb water. You might also feel bloated or get that sudden, I gotta go now, feeling. Common causes include stress, food sensitivities, mild infections, or early signs of IBS. To calm your gut down, avoid trigger foods like caffeine or dairy, eat more calming fiber like apples or oats, drink water steadily, and give your mind and body time to relax. 7. Watery diarrhea. Watery diarrhea is all liquid, no shape, no solids, just a fast exit. It means your gut is in overdrive, pushing things out way too quickly for your body to absorb water. This can be caused by stomach bugs, food poisoning, certain medications, or digestive issues like IBS or Crohn's. It can also happen when stress or panic throws your whole system off. The biggest danger here is dehydration, so sip on water with electrolytes. Avoid caffeine, alcohol, and greasy food. If it lasts more than a day or comes with fever, pain, or blood, it's time to see a doctor. 8. Anxiety poop. Do other people get anxiety diarrhea? Is it just me? Am I the only one that feels like I could poop my pants when, when a situation gets tense if a tire light comes on because it was like 40 degrees overnight and then it's back up to almost 70 during the day? Um, just, just me. Uh, you get a text that says, hey, can you give me a call? <sighs> Anxiety diarrhea. I feel it. it. Starts up here, goes down here. My heart's racing. My hands go numb. Ever get that sudden urge to poop when you're nervous? That's anxiety poop. It usually comes out loose or watery, type 6 or 7, and often hits before stressful events, like interviews or arguments. When you're anxious, your brain floods your body with stress hormones like cortisol, which speeds up your gut. That means less water gets absorbed and your poop turns to mush. You might also feel cramping, urgency, or even nausea. To calm things down, try deep breathing, slow walks, or journaling. Stay hydrated, eat simple meals, and remember, your gut and brain are always talking. Ninth period poop. Please, stop this madness. What do you want from me? Ah, what do you want? Please!
period poop is totally real and totally normal. It's usually softer, more frequent, and sometimes urgent. That's because during your period, your body releases prostaglandins, chemicals that help your uterus contract, but they also affect your intestines. The result? Cramps, gas, bloating, and more bathroom trips. Hormone shifts like dropping estrogen can also mess with gut sensitivity. To make period poop easier, drink water, skip caffeine if it makes you gassy, eat light and fibrous foods like fruits, veggies, and oats, and use a heating pad or gentle movement to soothe the cramps. Tenth, floating poop. Floating poop doesn't sink. It bobs at the surface and might even look oily or greasy. This usually means your body isn't breaking down fats properly or there's extra gas in your stool. Sometimes it's just from eating a high-fiber or high-fat meal, but if it keeps happening, it could be linked to food intolerances, celiac disease, or issues with your pancreas. It can also smell stronger than usual. If your poop floats a lot and comes with weight loss, stomach pain, or diarrhea, it's a good idea to get checked out by a doctor. 11th, yellow or pale poop. Yellow or pale poop appears lighter than normal, ranging from pale yellow to clay-colored. This usually means your stool lacks bile, the greenish-yellow fluid produced by the liver that helps digest fats and gives poop its typical brown color. Causes include bile duct blockage, liver problems like hepatitis, gallbladder issues, or malabsorption disorders such as celiac disease. It can also happen with infections that speed up digestion, preventing bile from fully mixing with stool. If yellow or pale poop persists, especially with fatigue or jaundice, it's important to see a doctor for diagnosis and treatment. Twelfth, red poop. Red poop means there's blood in your stool, or it could be caused by certain foods or medications. Bright red poop usually signals bleeding in the lower digestive tract, like hemorrhoids, anal fissures, or diverticulitis. Darker red may come from higher up in the colon. Sometimes eating beets, red-colored drinks, or food dyes can turn poop red without harm. However, if you didn't consume these and see red or maroon stool, it could indicate a more serious issue like gastrointestinal bleeding or inflammation. If red poop persists or you feel pain, see a doctor immediately. Thirteenth, black poop. Black poop can be alarming. It's usually caused by bleeding in the upper digestive tract, like the stomach or small intestine, where blood gets digested and darkens as it passes through. This condition, called melena, may signal ulcers, gastritis, or even serious issues like cancer. However, black poop can also result from iron supplements, certain medications, or eating dark-colored foods like black licorice or blueberries. If you haven't taken these and notice black, teary stools, especially with weakness or stomach pain, seek medical help immediately.